Returning to our program once again this month is John Fleming, president of Lascalzo Associates. Great to see you, John. Becky, uh, my pleasure being here. Hope everything is going well with you. Well, there's no shortage of people who grumble about auditors, such as company management and financial statement users. But what about complaints by peer reviewers? Is that something the audit profession should take seriously? Well, there's no question, Becky, that the peer review process, as well as the internal inspections that firms utilize, uh, are, are all designed to uh, improve performance, uh, ensure compliance with not only uh, regulatory but also professional standards and any firm standards that may have been put in place by the firm. Uh, and there, there's, a, there's a need for some type of check and balance. Uh, the peer review process serves today as that check and balance. It gives the firm an opportunity uh, to uh, have another firm not associated with uh, that firm's uh, client base or that firm's uh, internal quality control procedures uh, and evaluate them, make sure that the firm is in compliance and also make sure that if there's best practices that can be utilized, maybe are not being utilized, the suggestions get made as part of the peer review process. And uh, the peer review process, again, is really designed to uh, improve uh, firm performance, uh, benefit clients that are serviced by the firm, uh, as well as ensure that the uh, individuals on the engagement teams uh, can perform uh, as well as possible uh, given the uh, resources, of, resources of the firm as well as uh, the requirements of the profession. Well, on one hand, John, auditors should be open to the idea that an objective and disinterested observer comes in to do an evaluation. But on the other hand, would it make sense before the peer reviewers arrive to do an internal self-inspection? Yes, Becky. It's not only important, it's also required. Uh, each firm goes through an annual self-inspection process, uh, which is based on their internal quality control standards. Uh, and that uh, helps to sort of bridge the gap between peer reviews, because they're required once every three years. Uh, but it also gives firms an opportunity to do a little bit of a self-evaluation of their internal processes. And while we don't particularly think of uh, that work being done by internal auditors in an accounting firm. Uh, certainly the firm's quality control uh, individuals are usually uh, heavily involved in that process. And this again will generate uh, not only areas where improvement may be necessary, but also best practices to share with the other uh, in individuals within the firm.